While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. We so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Give me, uh, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Yes, and, uh, actually, yeah, start at verse 1. I want to just show the flip side to the curses. We know we broke the, we, we went into slavery. All these atrocities happened to us because we broke the commandments of God. So what would have happened if we would have kept the commandments of God? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So if we would have kept the commandments of God that Moses gave us, that he got from the Most High God, if he would have kept those commandments, here's the flip side, read. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. What would God do? Set thee on high above all nations on the earth. God would have set us up on high above all nations on the earth. So what's that saying? Two things. One, only the Most High God can put us in our position over the earth, over the other nations. We can't do it. Right. Politics can't do it. Entertainment can't do it. Right. Right? Only the Most High God can set us up back over the planet Earth to our rightful position. That's right. A million dollars can't do it. A billion dollars can't do it. Only the Most High God and His laws can set us back on top. How you doing, my sister? What's your name? Kay Delay. Kay Delay. what's your nationality? African American. So if you look at this sign right here, it says that the African Americans, the Af African American is something that you call in this land right here. You understand? But in the Bible, 18 nations are recorded, right? Our true nationality, because this is the, the, the book of all books, correct? This is the beginning all the way to the end, correct? So this, this book is going to tell us who we are. Wouldn't this have more information on us than, say, you, our world history book in school? You agree with that, sis? So if you look at this sign, if you were so-called African-American, you would be from the tribe of Judah. The Lord calls you a Jew. All right? Understand that. You're African-American too, right, sis? And what was your name again? Daya. 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 You're a Jew. Same lineage as Jesus Christ. So right now, we reading the blessings of the Jews. We reading the flip side. We reading the blessings that, that would have come upon us if we would have kept the commandments. Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 2. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 2. It's in everybody's Bible. All right, read. And all these blessings shall come on thee. And all these blessings shall come on the Jews, on the Israelites, because in Deuteronomy 1, 1 and 1, it says that these are the words that Moses spake to all Israel. Israel is made up of 12 tribes. Judah is one of those tribes. Y'all understand? Y'all follow me. All right, read the blessings for Judah. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. So if a blessing is overtaking you, just like the curses that you pointed these curses came and they overtook us. We still under these curses to this day. The chains, the yokes of iron are off our necks, the chains are off, but we still, we mentally destroyed. So now if the blessing is going to overtake us, how much, how much more better will we be doing out here in, in America, in this world? We will be running things, you agree? We will be running the world, which is where we're supposed to be. Read on. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we shall listen, like right now, y'all listening to the voice of God. You're listening to the voice of the commandments of God right now. And God said, if you do this, read on. Blessed shalt thou be in the city. Then you're going to be blessed in the city, Daya. Then you're going to be blessed in the city. What's your name again, sir? Kajale. Kajale. You're going to be blessed in the city. That's when the other nation is going to see Kajale as a princess, as a daughter of Sarah, as a righteous woman. That's when they're going to see you as that. You understand, sis? Read on. And blessed shall thou be in the field. Now you're not picking cotton. Now you have people working for you because your field is blessed. Right now, we cursed in the field. We got to get up, punch the clock. We tired. We always tired, right? That's being cursed in the field, but if we hearken to the voice of the Lord God, now we blessed in the field. Now somebody else is doing that work for us. You understand? Like how that's the rightful place. We're the children of God. The other nations are, are made to be subservient to us. You understand, sis? Read on. 
Blessed are the fruit of thy body. Uh-huh. Now our children are blessed. The fruit of our body is talking about our children. Because right now, our children are born in the sin, correct? They born, uh, we have crack babies. I have friends growing up, they was born addicted to crack cocaine. That's cursed, it's, that's your fruit, your seed being cursed, coming out cursed. But when we keep God's commandments, now our babies are born blessed. You understand? We don't. And the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy ground, and what we eat, the food that's supposed to be nourishment for our body. All this food is garbage. Checkers, I know we like the cheese for the champ burger and all this. But that stuff is garbage, right? That stuff is garbage. Jeez. So right now, our food is cursed. No vitamins in it. You got GMO, right? Everything is made. It's killing us one way or another. You overdo it, you you know, you're gonna find yourself in the hospital. High blood pressure, gout. Why? Because everything is everything is not in its right place. Why? Because we're not in our right place. We're not in our right mind. When the Israelites come back to their right place and their right mind, everything will line back up in the way it's supposed to be, you understand? We know. And the fruit of thy cattle. And the fruit of our cattle, read. The That's increase the of thy kind. Uh-huh. And the flocks of thy sheep. Read on. Verse 5. Bless shall thy basket and thy storehouse. Bless shall thy basket and thy storehouse. That's going into our finances. See, right now, we think because one or two of us become millionaires, billionaires, we have businesses, we are entertainers, we are uh, 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 ball players, different things. We, give me Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 64. Give me 64. We think that, well, we, we look at that as like that's all of us. It's not. That's one or two people, three or four people. We're still separated as a people. Would you agree? And God did that to us. Why? Because we didn't listen to his commandments. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Uh-huh. From one end of the earth, even into the other. From one end of the earth to the other. Through what? Through slavery. Through the trans transatlantic slave trade. Through the South Saharan slave trade. We've been scattered. So the Lord said, okay, instead of y'all being all together and one people, this is why it's so hard for us to come together. This is why it's so hard for us to, 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 to agree on simple stuff. Even if you, I'm sure even in your families, you always having disagreements. This is your own, your aunts, your brothers, your cousins. We can never come together and agree on anything. Because the Lord said what? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Because when the Lord scattered us, we begin to do what? Read on. From the one end of the earth, even to the other. So sis, let me ask you a question. How did we learn these the different philosophies and the information that we have? How did we learn it? I But who taught us? Because we came out of slavery. We didn't know how to read or write. We just now really learned how to read and write and comprehend. Who taught us the different philosophies and the different uh who taught us who we are? Who told us we was African American? Who told us that? Did you did our grandparents say, baby, you an African American? Somebody had to teach grandma that, right? Who taught her that? Who taught her? White folks taught her. <laughs> Same thing with us being in the other religions. Whatever, whoever our oppressor was, whoever our slave master was, whoever owned us, whatever land we were in, that's the God that we serve. We took to their God. So if we were in the sub-Saharan slave trade under the Arabs, we took to Islam, right? Here in America, we took to Christianity. We, we took to being the Baptist. You understand? So these are the different, that's how we learn these things. How do we learn Mother's Day? Isis, Horus, the, all the way to today with the Virgin Mary and the, and, 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 and the so-called baby Jesus. It's all idolatry. You understand? The, 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 the Queen of Heaven is what they call her. So Mother's Day is based on the Queen of Heaven. I, I worship the Queen of Heaven. Jeremiah 44, let's get that. Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 15. Uh-huh. Then all the and then all the men which knew their wives had burnt incense unto other gods. So you got brothers, just like you see as brothers right here. Now, we keep the commandments of God. And so our wives keep the commandments of God, our children keep the commandments of God, right? So you got these brothers, their wives did what? They burnt incense into other gods. They burnt incense into other gods. Right? So they're referencing pagan gods instead of the most high, the one true God. Read on. 
And all the women that stood by a great multitude, mm -hmm. even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, uh -huh. and Pastor Oak answered Jeremiah, saying, uh -huh. As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us, in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. So Jeremiah is trying to correct them. They're going up. They going like, man, look, your, your wives are burning incense to false gods. What are you doing? Y'all need to correct that. So Jeremiah, the prophet he is, like we out here now, the prophets, we are, we out here to correct our people. Hey, look, you're going off. You're supposed to, this today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Don't buy it. Don't sell. Jesus. Why? Because we need to make sure we all straight so the Lord can fight for us. So we can get the blessings that we talked about in Deuteronomy. Right. So we got to hold each other accountable. Hey, don't do that. No, that, you know that we're not supposed to do that. Right. Stop that right away. The Lord is going to jack us up. Our Father is going to get us. Right. Read. Verse 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth. Out of what? Our, out of our own mouth. No, no, out of the mouth of God. Out of our own mouth. Every time we use our own thoughts and words, and not this Bible, affliction comes on our people. This happens to us. This is the result of us not keeping the laws of God, of us coming out of our own mouth, our own minds. And so that just like today, we are here to show our people, look, I know you've been taught that Mother's Day is okay. I know you've been taught that today is just Saturday. You off work, you're supposed to buy and sell, but it's not, God says it's not okay. It's idolatry worship. Read on. You agree, brother? You agree with this? Read. To burn incense unto the queen of heaven. To what? To burn incense unto the queen of heaven. You know how crazy this sounds? To burn incense to the queen of heaven. The queen of heaven can't do nothing for us. Nothing for our people. The Lord then already by this time brought us out of Egypt destroyed the Egyptians, the Pharaoh, all this, the, the Queen of Heaven didn't do none of that. What? The Most High God did this. And then what do we turn around and do? No, I'm burning incense to the Queen of Heaven. We come out here the same way we come out here, we teach our people. Look, today's the Lord's Sabbath day. Don't buy, don't sell. Nope, I gotta go, I gotta get this. I gotta get my pack of squares. I gotta get, I gotta buy this, I gotta buy that. You know, what we telling you, thus said the Lord. Freedom. And to pour out drink offerings unto her, uh -huh. as we have done, we and, and our fathers, our kings, and our princes, uh -huh. in the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. for there we plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. Right, plenty of victuals. Victuals is going in the things that you sell. So just like today, what you, what, you, what most people going buy for tomorrow? Oh. The Mother's Day baskets. They got the little, the little teddy bears in there with all the little roses and the little chocolate, the candies. But we're really, and, and, and you know what? We think we're doing a good thing. We think we, oh no, this is my mama, I love her. You know what I mean? But shouldn't you, shouldn't you love your mama every day? Matter of fact, the Lord commanded us to do that. You should love, if, it's, if you just taking out one six and all. If you just, if you just uh, taking out one day to celebrate your mom and then the whole other 364 days, you, you hate her, you wicked, you cussing her out. What profit is that? So they set this one day up. Why? So we, so really, so we can worship a pagan god, goddess, so-called, and they make money off of it. Read what you got. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Hello, children. Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Uh-huh. Honor thy father and mother, mm -hmm. which is the first commandment with promise. So the first commandment with promise is that we honor our mother and our father. So why do we need someone to tell us, oh, this day you're going to go all out for mom? Unless they got a, a secret agenda. Unless it's another agenda behind it to destroy our people, to keep our people in sin. Read. Read it here. Honor thy father and mother, which is uh -huh. the first commandment with promise. God said to honor our father and our mother, and that's a commandment. We don't need a separate ritual to show us how to treat mom. We don't need a separate ritual to show us how to treat our fathers. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And then you, what happened? Read it again. That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. So when we do this, 
when we honor our parents, the Lord said we're going to live long on the earth. We're going to live a long life. Why? Because we, we honor our, our mothers and our fathers like he commanded us to do. We're keeping the commandments. Right. The commandments give us life. Uh, Luke 11 and uh, 27. Luke chapter 11, verse 28. Uh-huh. What he said. 27, start at 27. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, uh-huh. and the path which thou hast sucked. Uh-huh. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Right, read it again from the top. Verse 27. Uh-huh. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice. So they're talking about Christ. As Christ spake, a woman lifted up her voice to say this. What's she say? And said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee. So this woman is saying, Blessed is the womb that bear Christ. So pretty much, bless Christ's mother. Mary, right? Right? Christ's mother was Mary, right, brother? Bless Mary. But now let's find out what Christ said in regards to what this woman just said. Read on. In the paths which thou hast sucked. Uh-huh. But he said... Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So wait, wait, wait. So you saying if 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 I celebrate Mother's Day, I won't be blessed. But blessed I'll be if what? Hear the word of God and keep it. Blessed if you hear this word of God and you keep the word of God. That's where your blessings is gonna come from. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth